Hi, good afternoon. This is Dwight De Leon from Rappler. Uh, we are seeing now live pictures of the Comelec main office. Uh, ngayon, ngayon po, uh, dumating na si Energy Secretary Alfredo Cusi ng ruling PDP Laban dito sa Palacio del Gobernador. What are we expecting? We are expecting uh, Senator Ronald Bato de la Rosa to formally uh, withdraw his candidacy for president. This is the same person uh, who tried to debunk claims that uh, his presidential run back in October is a mockery to the election process. But right now, ang kasama natin, or makikita natin ngayon dito na I see Energy Secretary Alfredo Cusi ng Cusi Wing ng PDP Laban. Uh, Commissioner Ko, now at the Comelec office. <laughs> Commissioner Antonio Ko is retiring in February 2022. He is an appointee of President Duterte. Okay. Balik po tayo dito. Uh, ang nakita po natin ngayon ay ang mga uh, crowd entering Palacio del Gobernador. Uh, we believe that this is the camp of PDP Laban's Alfonso Cusi. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We're trying to get a better view. This is a developing story and another twist to the many events that happened today. The first one, we sort of expected that Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte, in one way or the other, will throw her hat in the 2022 national race. But the surprise was she gave way to her ally, former Senator Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr., Sara Duterte Carpio filing her candidacy for vice president instead through an authorized representative. Again, we are seeing live pictures of the Palacio del Gobernador here in Intramuros, Manila. This is a Comelec office. Uh, you are seeing now Energy Secretary Alfonso Cusi. Okay, we tried to uh, get an ambush interview uh, with Energy Secretary Kusi, but uh, we'd like to keep silent for now. Maybe he'll grant us an interview later. Again, PDP Laban has remained so far on the sidelines during the substitution saga. 
uh, we know that uh, Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos is running for president and now Sara Duterte is running for vice president. Then we have Bato de la Rosa withdrawing his candidacy for president. And the question now is what will Bongo do? Because if he doesn't withdraw his candidacy for vice president, uh, he will face Sara Duterte in the vice presidential race next year. But just earlier today, I think 30 minutes ago, we have uh, Communication Secretary Martin Andanar posting on Facebook that he's throwing his support for Bongo for president. So that's another interesting development to the already dramatic 2022 elections. We're seeing a lot of people. I think this is Martin and Danar. Martin and Danar, communication secretary. Um, just maybe 30 minutes ago, he posted on Facebook throwing his support for Bongo for president in 2022. Again, Bongo is running for vice president vice president that's according to his coc but that could change today given that the president's daughter sara duterte carpio has already filed her certificate of candidacy her substitution papers for vice president through an authorized representative again this is a developing story you already saw Energy Secretary Alfonso Cusi of PDP Laban and now we have Martin Andanar, another uh, Cabinet Secretary of the President. We now have Communication Secretary uh, Martin Andanar. Hi, sir. Hi, sir. Sir, Bongo po ba tatakbo for president? Sir, pinost niya po kanina. Uh, ano ba, sir, yung post? Uh, Tungkol saan, sir, yung FB post niyo? running for VP, second. Hi, sir. But Senator Bongo is running for VP, so he will be substitute for Senator Bato, who will be withdrawing his COC. Hindi ko alam kung kung mag-substitute pa siya. Hindi ko rin alam kung siya ba ay alatras lamang pagka VP at kung siya ba ay magpapay na substitute. So, abangan na lang natin. So, Senator Bongo and Senator Bato de la Rosa are both expected here. Yung dalawa, yung mag yung magkatandem, sir. Expected sila. Sir, sino bang bubunta? Hindi ko alam kung darating si Senator Bato. Hindi expect ko si Senator Bato. Sir, kayo kung anong agenda niyo dito, sir? Show of support lang, sir. Yes, I'm here because of the show of support. Kanina po, sir. So, sir, you're not substituting for anyone. Sir, no substituting for every anyone. So, sir, but so, sir, kayo pa di pa kayo to magbo. <laughs> okay, that's 
Okay, that's communication secretary. In Andanar, he says he expects Senator Bongo to f arrive here in the Comelec office. Okay, we're seeing more developments, um, more people coming here, but we are unable to recognize them as of now. But we believe this is from the ruling PDP Laban. Martin Andanar previously posted like 30 minutes ago that his strong support for Senator Bongo for president but he did not give a categorical statement when he asked just a few seconds ago kung uh, sure na ba natatakbo si Senator Bongo for president. Again, uh, Senator Bongo filed his certificate of candidacy for vice president back in October. And for him to run for president, he needs first to withdraw his candidacy for vice president. If he does not uh, do that, then he will face uh, the president's daughter, Mayor Sara Duterte, for the vice presidential race in 2022. I think you just have to point out that there is a slight uh, well, medyo nag-break yung protocol ngayong araw. Sapagkat so, usually, itong mga kandidato, doon sila dumadaan sa likod na area. Let's check. Papakita lang natin. Ah. Usually, dito po dumadaan yung mga kandidato. Pero ngayon, for PDP Laban, dito sila dumadaan sa entrance, sa front entrance. So, ngayon, nandito na po si Executive Secretary Salvador Medialdea. Kasama niya po si uh, Communication Secretary Martin Andanar. Uh, bawal tayong lumapit. So medyo hindi nakikita sa video. Thank you. 
Angélica. Again, you're seeing live pictures of the uh, substitution drama here at the Palacio del, Go del Gobernador, uh, the Comelec main office in Intramuros, Manila. Uh, Senator Bongo expected to arrive here shortly according to Communication Secretary Martin Andana, who's already here by the way. Uh, Energy Secretary Alfonso Cusi of the ruling PDP Laban is also here. We're also expecting Senator Ronald Bato. Ah, Ronald Bato de la Rosa appears to be here. Yes, he's already here. Senator Ronald Bato de la Rosa is expected to file his withdrawal papers in a few. Okay. okay. Senator Bato de la Rosa's filing of COC for president back in October drew flack amid speculations that he was just there to be a placeholder to another candidate, uh, particularly uh, for allegedly Sara Duterte Carpio. And now he's already here and he's expected to file his withdrawal papers in a few. We asked Bato de la Rosa back in October whether his decision to file his COC allegedly as a placeholder to someone else was a mockery of the election process, but he just replied, Am I a mockery to you? Yung pong naka-red, siya po si Senator Bato de la Rosa. Again, he's expected to file his withdrawal papers in a few. You're still seeing live pictures of the uh, substitution drama here at the Palacio del Gobernador, Comelec main office in Intramuros, Manila. Uh, ang nakita niyo po sa aking harapan ay ang uh, mga miembro or at least the camp of the ruling PDP Laban. Uh, they are expected or their candidates are expected to file either withdrawal or substitution papers today, the second to the last working day that the COMELEC is accepting, is receiving substitution and withdrawal papers for the 2022 national 
and local elections. Ang nakita natin, nakita na natin si Senator Ronald Bato de la Rosa. Nakita na natin si Senator Ronald Bato de la Rosa na expected na mag-file ng kanyang withdrawal papers today. Uh, nandito rin si uh, Secretary Alfonso Cusi, uh, Energy Secretary Alfonso Cusi of the ruling PDP Laban as well as uh, Communication Secretary Martin Andanar. Uh, inihintay rin natin ang pagdating ni Senator Bongo who is you know we, we're not yet sure kung anong kanyang gagawin today uh, kasi kanina lamang ay nag-file ng kanyang uh, substitution for Vice President si uh, Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte Carpio so it's a question kung uh, kakalabanin ba ni Senator Bongo a loyal and trusted aide of President Duterte ang kanyang anak na si Mayor Sara. Well, that's one of the possibilities. Another possibility that he could just withdraw his candidacy for vice president and run for president instead. And why are we saying this? It's because just maybe 30 minutes earlier, uh, Communication Secretary and Danar posted on Facebook uh, his support for a potential presidential bid of Bongo. Okay. And we are now seeing Senator Ronald Bato de la Rosa. He is expected to file his withdrawal papers. And that was Senator Ronald Bato de la Rosa saying that uh, his decision to withdraw his certificate of candidacy for president is a party decision. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait lang. Again, we're seeing live pictures of the happenings here at Palacio del Gobernador. Now, this is Senator Ronald Bato de la Rosa withdrawing his candidacy for president. And there's another movement, it seems. President Duterte now here at Palacio del Gobernador and Senator Bongo. Thank you. 
प्रधान सेनेटर बोंगो नाउ हियर सेनेटर बोंगो नाउ हियर इज सेनेटर बोंगो एक्सपेक्टेड ओके Promotion here at Palacio del Gobernador of Sierra okay. Six because President Duterte and Senator Bongo are here to file their. Okay, the question now is, what will Senator Bongo do? Will he withdraw his vice presidential bid? Will he run for president as floated by uh, Communication Secretary Marjean and, and, and Anar earlier today? Apparently, there is definitely a breach of protocol here. Uh, I think uh, we're not supposed to have this huge number of supporters for a candidate filing his withdrawal papers or substitution papers even. But apparently, this is the case now. Multiple people crowding. It's it's a very chaotic afternoon here at Palacio del Gobernador. As you can see from my post, we can't have a proper view of the president and Senator Bongo. It's because he's being... Um, it's because he's being surrounded by his men, his supporters. Obviously, it's difficult to go around here. I don't think you can go any further given that uh, it's, the inner circle is off limits to the media. But I think it's obvious that there's some clear violation of physical distancing protocols here. And the fact that we have how many supporters of Senator Bongo here? I mean, of course, you understand that there are special accommodations to be made for the president but some of these people i don't think they're uh members of the psg some of them are supporters of the president and the senator
ko man Okay, 
Ito pa rin mo, nasa labas kami, istansyon. Magpapayin po si President ang what position? Ma'am, sir. Atras mo na, matutumba na, matutumba. So according to comment So just to give you a recap, Senator Bongo is withdrawing his candidacy for vice president, but we don't know. We don't know kung anong position sa kanyang substitute. Uh, he may not be filing substitution papers today. According to Communication Secretary Martin Andanar, Duterte will file his candidacy for vice president in a very, very dramatic turn of events. But not today. Uh, because Sarah Duterte has just filed her candidacy for vice president. So will they fight against each other? Okay. 
pagkalaban ni Pangulong Duterte ang kanyang anak na si Damo City Mayor Sara Duterte Carpio na nasa itanim ng partidong kasi ngayon ay patuloy pa rin ang pagproseso ng pomelet sa kanilang mga aplikasyon. Ito ang pagdating ni Sen. Bongo, Sen. Pato de la Rosa at ni Pangulong Duterte. Al, dalawa na ba sila doon? Dalawa na sila. Natatawa si Pangulong Duterte tuwing tinitignan niya yung mga membro ng media. We don't know why. Really laughing. Mukhang nakaaliw siya. Gigi, dagdaga mo dyan. Gigi, ha? Sunod kami. I, takin mo ako ha. Kasi for sure, gaganan sila eh. Takin mo ako ha. Kasi man lang sa akin dito. Ano ba? Tiktal na yung... Tiktal na yung... Tiktal na yung... pangkarang ng pomerit na siyempre sa mga member na Ayan lang mo ba dyan? Ay,
Ay, mo ba ako ang ito? Salay mo ako rin ito.
Oi, kabila, 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 kalas, 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 kalas. Bas mani. Kalangan nunggu nonton tadi tu sen. Dapat kerja. 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 Dapat Tidak <laughs> President po. Sir, sir, adjust na lang po tayo para hindi na naman. Susus mo tayo na, sir. Did you expect her to run for vice president? Did you expect her to run for vice president or did you expect her to run for president? Thank you, sir. Tito. Sir, thank you, ha. Thank you. Go. Wait, so si si Dutay ka PDDS din? O nag-PDDS? Hindi ko nalitawalin mo. Sobrang gano'ng gano'ng gano'ng. Pwede naman. Para surprise daw. Ano nga? Ang DS eh. Bakit nga siyang isang 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 isang? Para daw to avoid complications. Last minute change. 
kasi daw dahil dun sa ano na po. So PD kailangan din siya hindi wala akong ano dito. Oo, oh, hindi niya rin. <laughs> Okay. Kapag natali din na ako kanina yung isang part, ang ending, wala nung ako under that part. Pero kasi... Si Duterte ba? Ha? Si Duterte ba? Pili? Nag-parang na ba si Duterte? Si Janet na Ito naman ano yung sa harap eh. Ito na siya. Dito din yung nasaktan yung namin si Bosco. Tingnan mo sila nga ganyan. Sino nandun? Sino nandun? Hindi na ako mga kamakaan. 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 Sino? 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 Hindi ko nga alam eh. Nahilap kasi mga kumasok eh. Sabi sa akin, Sabi sa akin, So ito lang yan. Ayun lang ako. 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 Dino kailan magtanong kung sino pa? Ang gusto ko pa kayo ni Inday sa nasa na kayo. Maraming nga salamat po sa mga supporters ko, sa mga nagpagod. Mahal na mahal ko po kayo. Hindi ko po kayo bibiguin. Magsiservisyo po ako sa inyo. Ayaw ko mga ako. Hindi po ako politiko na mga ngako. Hindi po ako politiko na mga ngako dito, mga ngako doon. Antayin nyo na lang po ang resulta. Ang aming pagtatrabaho ni Pangulong Duterte. Sir Yusef, nasagasaan. Dahil tumuloy pa rin si Mayor Sara sa pagtakbo at CP, even if tatakbo na po kayo. Is that what you mean, sir? Kasi po, kandidato na ako bilang Vice President at may partido po ako. Sabi ko, kailangan po yung iwas. Wala na kami. Mainit na yun. Pangulong Duterte, ayaw ko po kasi. Hindi nasunod din sabi ni Sir Pinian. Dahil mahal ko po si Pangulong Duterte. Thank you po. Salamat. Salamat po. Salamat po. Ayaw ko si Duterte. Thank you. 
Why are you supporting Bongo po? Bakit po si Bongo for president? President President Duterte daw po is running for vice president. Mga kalaban niya po si Sara. Sino po susuportahan niyo? Si President Duterte daw po tatakbo for VP. Nasusupo, uh, kalaban, kalaban niya si Sara. So sino po susuportahan niyo? Abay, isa lang pong vice president. Ah, sige po, sige po. Mark Miller. with PDP Laban and how, how, how did this all happen? Well, una uh, PDP is is a, uh, is a party that we organized in 2018 to pursue or to continue the aspirations of the president for the country to continue the fight against corruption, drugs, sama para sa pagbabago para isulong ang kandidatura ni Pangulong Duterte. Subalit, marami ang nawala ng boses. Marami ang nawala, nawala sa sirkulo ng Manalo. Politika po yan. So, binuupo namin ang PDDS. PDDS para po uh, ipunin muli yung mga nawala ng mga haiba. Baga. Sir, kailan na finalize? Binuupo namin nila Senator Bongo, nila Pangulo. So, yung PDDS sa kanila po ito eh. Sa ating party na nilipatan nila, ito po ay sa kanila, itinilaga talaga just by the name itself. Dahil uh, sa advocacya ng ating Pangulong Duterte. Now, we are in coalition with um, uh, PDP. So, isa po yan. So, we will be a stronger um, stronger group to uh, campaign and explain to the people kinakailangan ang pagpatuloy ang mga simula na ng Pangulong Duterte sa mga pangungunan ni Senator Bongo dahil kung hindi po eh, balikan po yung droga balikan po yung korupsyon balikan ang kalokohan sa gobyerno we have to sustain the fear in the hearts of the corrupt officials of corrupt people in government who, who are still doing corruption so eh, balikan po yung kawawa ang Pilipino we have to sustain the fear in the hearts of drug lords and criminals to roam around the street para tayo ibigyan ng pangani ang ating mga mahal sa buhay. And um, kung hindi po magpapatuloy yan, magbabalikan po yan. And yan po ang, uh, yan po ang PDDS, PDD, PDP na um, pagsasamahan. So, so kailan na-finalize yung deal? Kailan po na-finalize yung deal na, uh, magpap, na si Bongo tatakbo under sa PDDS? Um, well, you know, si Bong naman, si Senator Bong doon naman talaga ang kandidato namin noon pa. Kaso lang with this, um, itong mga, ano, itong mga nangyari ngayon, may biglang mga nagpa-file, mga ganun ganun substitution. So we were all, ano, we were all uh, waiting for uh, what will happen. Diba? So, ganun po. So, ang tabay kami, kung ang asamin basta, you know, we were, we were preparing for anything. So is this to avoid legal complications? Ay, well, isang issue pa yun, ano, sa PDP, no? Meron sila mga legal uh, na hinaharap. So, kaya yung uh, PDDS, um, naririto po, dahil isa naman ang grupo. So, so yung PDDS, PDDS, PDDS is PDDS holders, Mr. Grip, PDDS no? different party, oh. B Dynamics, and PDP lang. Wala. Ay, well, we are in the world, 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 we are in the world. So, coalition with PDDS. Um, yeah. So, pero hindi registered coalition. So it's a different party. We have 18 na 
Sir, for a second, please, I'd just like to say for that, that uh, effective today, the President uh, is the Chairman of the... Uh, no. President Duterte? So, sir, President Duterte will be the President Chairman, he will be the Chairman. But, but is he still with PDP? Is, is, is he also still with PDP Laban, President uh, Duterte? Right now, what's up? So, is this the Chairman in place holder? Mike, what's discussion pa si Bongo, PDP laban, parang ganun. Tapos ngayon po, PDBS. Basta, basta we were, we were noticed today. It was a last minute. Sir? Ito ang mangyayari. So we sir? Were oh, we you, were, were ready. you were told na this was gonna be no. the ano, sir? No. Basta we were ready for everything. Sir, what was the discussion like when President Duterte decided to run uh, against uh, uh, no, I, uh, I don't think there's any discussion about that right now. Yung VP, sir. Uh, I don't think there's any the discussion, discussion was for the, like the discussion us. was for Senator Bongo being president. Sir. Yung ano nangyari ngayon na po na pag-usap. So kung may VP man, sir, wala pa kayo discussion about it. Wala pa po. We're still waiting for whatever mm. So we should wait until... Sir, sino po yung vice presidential candidate ng VP? Uh, kasi uh, ang uh, aming kandidato is a lawyer and is a former um, AFP official who is retired as a colonel. So, yeah. So, so he is our part, he's a party member. Sir, last ask, kailan po nag-withdraw si Mr. Grepor? Today din. Nung, nung may commotion sa loob yun din? Oo, oh, sabay-sabay na ho kami. Kasi nga, you know, eh, ano, hindi namin alam kasi um, the ball was on the other court's hand. Eh. Diba? Yung VP niya sir nag-withdraw. Yung, yung VP, President, everyone was, everything was in their hands. So, sir, nag-withdraw na po ba yung VP niya? Hindi pa po. Wala, hindi po. Kasi wala pa namang... Sir, but, 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 but that works, we should expect that on Monday po ba? Um, na mag-withdraw po yung ako, VP po ninyo? Ako, I'm waiting for, for uh, what's next. And until sir, who are you waiting for, sir? <laughs> I'm waiting for what the party will, uh, will uh, decide. Are you waiting, sir, for anyone in particular? I'm waiting for anyone. So for the record, your presidential and vice presidential aspirants are all faithful. Oh, no. no. We have a serious party. My father is not a day soldier and he's a presidential and vice secretary, USEC. A known person in the Philippines, founder of our party. No one is playing. Pero ito po yung panahon that um, leaders has to step up dahil we don't want we, want, we don't want our country to fall into the wrong hands. You know, the probe, sabi sa inyo, sabi sa inyo, pagka hindi, pagka malambot-lambot yung kumalit na presidente next term, balikan ang korupsyon, balikan po ang droga. Natin Sir, nasa table po ba yung pag-support kay Bongbong Marcos? Was that ever parang discussed? Was that ever a possibility Not for me? Yes. Sarah, of course, uh, is one of our advisors also. No? So, um, so, yun, of course, um, when I Pangulong Duterte, dun po kami, yun lang. This party is theirs. Um, sila nag, sila ang inspirasyon nito, sa kanila to. So, um, sila ang leader namin. So, kung 
ano ang uh, nakikita nilang maganda para sa bansa. Sina, kailangan na ipagtulong-tulungan nyo kung gagawin namin. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. May number ka di ba? Sino yung sinang ate? Sino yung sinang ate? Salamat po, salamat. Yung Grepor. 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 Hi! Good afternoon everyone and I guess that concludes the wild substitution drama on the second to the last day of you know uh, the substitution uh, here at the Commission on Elections in Intramuros, Manila. So just a quick recap of what happened uh, this afternoon. Senator Bato De La Rosa of PDP Laban filed uh, withdraw his withdrew his candidacy for president. Then uh, we had uh, Senator Bongo also withdrawing his candidacy for vice president under PDP Laban and filing his uh, COC for uh, president under this PDDS, a party of uh, Greco Belgica. So those are the latest developments today. President Duterte also joined uh, Senator Bongo and we talked to, Commer to Communication Secretary Mardin and Danar earlier and he said or he floated the possibility of Duterte running against his daughter Sarah. He has yet to file his candidacy for vice president. We are expecting that on Monday. Greco Belica and Energy Secretary Alfonso Cusi said that Senator Bongo did not file his COC under PDP Laban to avoid, or partly to avoid, uh, legal complications. Remember that PDP Laban is involved in this uh, political party in fighting, and I guess that's one of the main reasons why they decided to file, or why Bongo decided to file his candidacy under PDDS. So those are the latest today here at Palacio del Gobernador. There is still another, the final day of the uh, substitution drama on Monday. Let's see if more candidates, more uh, political veterans, uh, political heavyweights will come here at Palacio del Gobernador to join the 2022 race or withdraw from next year's elections. I'm Dwight De Leon from Rappler, Manila.